And now, Silver Quill reacts, without context, to Power Rangers. Be warned, there are kinda spoilers within? Go Go Movie Reboot! Ooh, the Cenozoic Era. Eh, I'm more of a Mesozoic mind. Oh, Malcolm in the Middle's father. Have you been rolling in blueberries or something? No, seriously, that's all I can think of when I see him. Okay, so we open up with a cow hand job joke. Classy. Wow, given how bad that crash was, I am surprisingly underwhelmed. Wow, way to go, Jason. You basically ruined your life for a cow. And Kimberly's a violent narcissist who ruins life with smartphone photos. <laughs> so, are you bulk or skull? Oh, you're a violent sociopath. Yeah, I really appreciate how Power Rangers is more true to life. Oh great, Zack's a suicidal idiot. And Trini's a bitter loner. Oh my gosh. And now Jason is watching Kimberly strip. Ah, uh, to be young. I remember when I went on dangerous escapades that put multiple lives at risk. Oh, wait, I didn't. And now they're causing even more property damage. <laughs> These are our heroes, people. These are our heroes. I get that the original Power Rangers were so unrealistically flawless that modern audiences would want characters with a little bit more of a tarnish to them, but this is going so far to the opposite extreme. Almost all these characters are just unlikable jerks because they've ruined their lives by being terrible people. The only character I'm really rooting for is Billy because he's the only one who seems kind of a victim in all of this. Well, that happened. Or did it? So random acts of violence can increase your popularity at school. Hey, what a great message for kids. Good gravy, this is all very serious. Look, can I just see a rubber-suited monster for a minute, please? You better beware! <laughs> Ah, thank you. Alpha, you're here! I don't care if you look like a deformed frisbee beast. Your commentary is actually making this more fun. Ah, uh, it's not a Power Rangers movie without a shot to the balls. Okay, Zordon, this is your training strategy? They fail to morph and you have them get beat up? <laughs> you are awful. So her monster's made totally out of gold? Big whoop. I saw a monster made completely of eyeballs. Now that was freaky. So Jason's dad, are you not going to mention that your son is walking around without a leg brace? Wow, Trini's mom, you are the only parent in this movie that is actually giving the characters a reason to be awful. I mean, technically, I should applaud the effectiveness, but, uh, you're still a terrible parent. Yeah. Okay, Zordon, I don't know if anybody told you, but mentoring means you do more than just shout at people and throw them into violent situations. Even Dumbledore taught some lessons. Wow, maybe Alpha should go fight Rita. He seems to be doing better on all fronts. Oh, Rita, you've been chewing the scenery since scene one, and I love you for it. Okay, this is the first misadventure with which I can identify. Because, you know, you park a giant robot in front of me and say, don't pilot it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to have problems. Nuns, yes, nuns make this fun. Oh, jeez, is Zack a pill popper? Oh, no, he's a caring and loving son. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, you know what? This campfire scene is probably the best in the movie because for just this moment, these kids are being real. They're dropping pretenses, they're dropping guards, but at the same time, they're not just instantly gushing. They joke, they goof around, they be a little irreverent. This is the most human they've been throughout the whole movie. But I'll tell you true, the nugget about Trini's sexual orientation went completely over my head. A friend had to explain it to me afterwards. I thought that Zack was just being stereotypical, assuming that her problems were either boyfriend or girlfriend related, and that was supposed to be a joke. But no, that is the root of Trini's problems with her family. So again, I guess Trini's mom was kind of effective, but awful? I'm very conflicted right now. Yes, go try to kill the super witch, but I'll tell you true, we already know that water won't work. Yep, one of my favorite characters in the movie is killing one of my other favorite characters in the movie. I am so conflicted! Yes, I'm so sad that he's dead forevers. Does the name Optimus Prime mean anything to you? Okay, finally we get some more of Oh wow, we're already at the Zords? I mean, don't get me wrong, when I was a kid I was always impatient to get to the Zord battle because, you know, giant robots. But, um, it's kind of hoping the Power Rangers would do more. How much did Krispy Kreme pay these people? They probably paid more than Boston Market who just get destroyed. Is this the new product placement of our times? I mean, what's the logic here? Well, if the villains want to destroy that place, it must be good. Ah, dude, you just stepped on Bumblebee. <gasps> oh my gosh, he said it. Okay, so the Megazord is an accident? 
Kudos for defying expectations. But that thing still looks like a Bayformer. Don't worry guys, Shinji went through the same thing. Is the Megazord gonna have to slap a witch? Wait, in the crowd there, is that- Okay, his name's Tommy, not Candyman. Saying his name three times will not make him appear. You know guys, I think I know what's wrong with this movie. I'm in the audience. And I know that sounds weird, but I am not the ideal audience for this movie. If you've had trouble with your family, if you've felt alienated from those you love, I think you'll see some of yourself in these characters. And hopefully it can offer some hope that things are hard now, but there is a way forward. But only if you reach out. It's the reason why Billy and Alpha and even Rita are my favorite characters in this movie. Alpha was alone for 65 million years and was very lonely. Billy is being ostracized for being different. He didn't do anything wrong. He's just different. And we connect over pain because every human being who has even stubbed a toe has some idea of what pain can feel like. And I know this may sound strange, but the pain you may feel, emotional or physical, it shouldn't isolate you from other people. In a very weird way, it can be a bridge to help you forge connections. Personally, this movie was not for me. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go watch Q-Ranger. Because that's a show where being a superhero can actually be fun. Don't care if it looks silly, I enjoy it. I'm Silver Quill. Thanks for reacting.